Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a new Crusader Kings 2 series for the Game of Thrones mod here on the channel. This new series is for a character that I personally like. I have a lot of characters that I personally like, but this is one character that I personally like. Good old Stannis Baratheon. Now, I, want, I wanted to play Stannis Baratheon, I think, during the Clash of Kings, but somebody left a comment suggesting that instead... That sh we should play as Stannis from the Feast of Crows bookmark. Uh, I apologies, I cannot remember your na your name at the time, but thank you. You know who you are. You know who you are. So we have picked Stannis Baratheon in the Feast of Crows bookmark. Now, just a uh, disclaimer: I don't. Th oh, I have only played on this bookmark one time, and that is for the and that would be the Joblivian Bolton series. So that one starts from the Feast of Crows, and that has your uh, Paramount Luce, uh, Roose Bolton of the North. And this is later on in the Clash of Kings. Um, I, I I couldn't tell you everything that's going on right now, but I mean we can see there's some crazy shit going on here. What do we got going on down here? We've got uh, Targaryen stuff. Oh, Aegon. Yes, so we've got Aegon's invasion of the Stormlands. We've got Stannis Baratheon fighting for the Iron Throne and for the North. And we got this little thing right here. So before I can get rid of this, the King on the Wall. That is a cool picture right there. It's freaking sweet. The war to reclaim my birthright suffered a crushing setback on the Blackwater, with my armies being smashed by the host of the Lannister Usurpers and the traitorous Tyrells. All looked lost. But the Lord of Light guided me to the Wall, where I defeated the wildlings threatening my realm. Now at my new seat on the Wall at the Night Fort, I am poised to subdue the North. Many of the Mountain Clans and the other Lords of the North have already sworn me their allegiance justly owed. Many others defy me, though. Perhaps if I were to name Jon Snow, the boy commander of the Night's Watch, and son of Eddard Stark, the rightful lord of Winterfell, they will see the light. Yes, he will surely accept such a generous offer. A bastard cannot rule. Mm, I'm not sure if... Uh, is, I'm not sure. Is Stannis right in that claim? A bastard cannot rule? I've seen innumerable bastards rule realms and things like that, so I'm not sure if that's really that accurate. Yes, he will surely accept such a generous offer. Shall receive your offer. I mean, will he accept, though? I'm, I'm not really sure. Well, at this point, at this point in time, I think the more allies that Stannis has, the better off his chances are of taking the Iron Throne. I don't really see naming a bastard as the ruler of the North to be a dishonorable thing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to send him an offer. Great. So now that that's out of the way. I want to take a look at what is going on, because I'm not really sure. Oh, shit. Here is our forces. We are at Castle Black, and we have we've got a few allies. Brightwater, Massey's Hook, Blueburn. But we are taking attrition. 4.5% attrition. That's uh, that's not too good. The supply limit is 10k, 20k. Ah, so if we move down to Brandon's Gift, we should be able to uh, negate that. Now, Stannis, what do you own? Castle of the Night Fort. Okay. And you have the Lordship of Dragonstone, Dragonstone, High Lordship of Shipbreaker Bay, and the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Here we have 2,000, 2, 3,000 men, but altogether we have 11,000, assuming our allies stay with us. This is a rather precarious position. Precarious indeed, because the Stormlands are the ones who I think are supposed to be supporting us? I'm not really sure. Who is their liege? Yes. But with Aegon's host here... Hmm. I'm not sure what we can really do about that. We can't raise any more uh, levies. We can. We have more vassal levies we can raise. We have ships. We got ships. Hmm. Interesting. Who rules the Iron Thrones? A Tommen? King Tommen, yep. Who rules the West? Cersei. Okay, Cersei rules the West... Um, the Riverlands is... Paramount Edmure Tully is imprisoned by Lord Walder, defending against King Tommen in the Siege of River... Oh, yes, the River... The River Run Rebels. And then in the Iron Isles is, is a Euron Crow's Eye, who is attempting to invade the Reach. That's madness. Madness. Ooh, and the Brotherhood Rebellion... Yeah, and they got Catelyn Stoneheart, too. What is Dorne doing? Now, Prince Doran of Dorne is doing what Dorne does best, which is nothing. All right, 
King Tommen is fighting against the, the Tully Rebels, attacking Lord Titos in Siege of Raven Tree Hall, and the Brotherhood Rebellion, and us. Okay, how about the Veil? Lord Paramount Robert. Interesting. Now then, who rules? Is it? It's 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 Ramsey. Oh, no no no, it's Roos. It's Roos. All right, he's got eleven thousand men. Who? All right. If we win, I need to know what I stand to win. If we win, what do we get? We get the Kingdom of the North, which would be huge. That'd be huge for us, and then we can move down south and 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 help the Tullys. If we yeah, so that's that'd be great. What happens if we win here? Well, obviously, if we win, uh, uh, we become the king. But what happens if we win here? Aegon is imprisoned, loses claim of the Kingdom of the Stormlands. In all honesty, I'm not sure we can save the Stormlands. I just don't see it happening. I think we're going to have to, first of all, move our army down here. We need more troops here. If we can win the north, that'll be huge. It'll be huge for us. What we probably need to do, do we still have Shireen? We still have Shireen. We need to make sure that we don't let Melisandre fuck us up too badly. I wonder, do we have any sacrifices? Look into the flames. We have ten. Sweet. We've got ten sacrifices. Um. Oh yeah, we could also... Uh, oh, does not have the trait tra tra Zealous. Right. Well, we will have to let the Lord of Light show us the way. Ah, oh, yes, and we've got Mance Raider and Asha... Amon Raider and Val. Let me get, let me let me know what you guys think about what, what we should do with the prisoners here, because I don't want to I don't want to just jump off you know you know jump off the deep end and start uh, uh, burning people alive. I'd like a I'd like a little bit more counsel before I start doing that. But we got to get our armies here to a place with better supply limit. Um, I'd also love to get these three thousand men north if we could, because that would give us the advantage over. Uh, over Roos Bolton, the Boltons, the the Wolfswoods, Lord Galbert of the Wolfswoods. Form an alliance. Oh, you, uh, I thought you, who rules this? You do rule this, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, is there anybody we can marry you to? I don't think there is. Mm, probably not. I mean, we can marry Shireen to somebody, but that's the only child we have. And she's kind of important. She is our heir. Hmm. Um, I mean, who who here could we ally with that would give us the most? Wow, Howland Reed is still alive. Shit. Hmm. Could we arrange a betrothal between him and Shire Nope, can't do it. So House uh, Roland, uh, House, what are they? House Reed is off the is off the table here. Of course, the goddamn phrase are too. So I mean, last hearth. Lord Great John is imprisoned by Lord Walder. He has, he has 4,000 men. Would you be interested in marrying Shireen? Of House Umbar. My thinking is that we can get a nice little betrothal going. No. It's too high in the line of succession. No. Malador. No. Is there anybody who's not too high in your goddamn skills of Moore's Crowford? Fine then, you son of a bitch. Okay, where are my ships at? Where are my ships at? Let's get this going. We need to win the war. Win the war. There we go. And my ships, where are my ships at? Okay, of course Dragonstone, some around Shipbreaker's Bay. Now, if I raise my levies, where do they spawn? Oh. Shit. Okay. Okay, um, everybody, go to, just, don't even, just don't even worry about it. Make, make way to somewhere safe. Yeah, just make your way to somewhere safe. We'll pick you guys up later. These soldiers here are, are they're, they're safe. So we'll get the ships out here. God damn it, Stannis, your starting position is terrible. Child lacks focus. Shireen, you might be, you might need to fight. So, uh, get your shit ready to go. Give us a good spy master, Melisandre. Yeah, I guess she would be the best. The best uh, schemer. I'm gonna put her here. Dragonstone. Does it really matter where we put her? Not really. I just need to make sure nobody tries to kill me. Lord Arston, we will get you, Ax Axel. Um, 
you know what? Don't go go down to Storm's End and can you? No, you can't. Shit, we don't own it. That's right. Go down to Dragonstone and steward the shit down there. And then our red priest. Do we want to proselytize? I don't know if we want to proselytize. Uh, let's just perform charity right now. Uh, yeah. Perform charity. Thank you. There we go. Um, now I need you, Master Corwin, to make people like me more. I'm not tyrannical or anything, am I? N no. Um, improve diplomatic relations with... Shit. Um... Maybe the Tullys. Lord Admir, you have been imprisoned. Who leads this this group here? Defending against King Tommen. Lord Paramount Admir. Alright, that might have just been a way sending my diplomat there. I thought maybe there would be the off chance that we could actually help the Tully rebels, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Alright, Lord Davos, the Onion Knight, you are my hand of the king. Oversee the realm. Oversee the realm. Alright. I declare that my uh, brother Robert left no trooper an issue of his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella are all abominations of incest. I am the rightful king, but they will deny me if they can, which they will. Melisandre is no longer spymaster. Great. It seems I've lost a bunch of people. No, she has to be our high priest. All right. Whatever. Uh, scheme, scheme, scheme. We'll scheme you here. Proselytize. Uh, heathens attack her. Let's just have you perform charity, okay? Make the people like you. Alright, now my ships. We need to get my ships down here to, to, to save people, pretty much. Here, disband you. We need to save as many troops as we can. Okay, you go to the shores off of Tar Tarth there. Man, we, we, we really have no way of fighting Aegon. He is going to destroy... What happens if we lose? Does he depose us? Gains the Lordship of Storm's End. Gains the Kingdom of the Stormlands. He declares war on King Tommen of the Iron Throne. I mean, I hate to lose the Storm Stormlands, but um, we have to focus on the North right now. Unfortunately. Unfortunate. Yep, and they've taken Griffin's Roost. Which makes sense, because Aegon was called the Young Griff. The bastard is far too honorable, just like his father. Jon Snow rejected my offer of Winterfell in the North, preferring to stay here on the Wall. Lackwit. Yeah, you know, I could have used his. I could have used his forces here. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if there's any way I can actually. Is 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 Sansa dead? Vanished without a trace. No. Uh, I am. I am gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something a little cheaty here. We'll see if it works. It might not. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, so there's Arya, many-faced god, Brandon, John, and Rickon. Oh, right. You know what? You can't. You can't find uh, Sansa because her direwolf is dead. They killed her direwolf, right? Alrighty, lads, get the armies. Get the armies going. All right, our ship's Owen Raider has arrived at her court. Yep. Now, what? Our, our army is doing. They're just chilling at Castle Black, starving. That's not good. That's not good. Whew. And we don't have much in the way of a treasury either. Um, we might need to. We can't ransom these people, can we? Can we ransom you? No. Shit. Prince Theon is imprisoned by Paramount Roos. Yep. Fuck. The repair on Stannis, I see just cause in your struggle. Who are you? Ooh, of Tarth. Nice. So they're there. How about you guys just get on the boats? Just just get on the boats. Get on the boats while you can, you fools. No, 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 no. Don't go that way. Alright, then these ships are going to go down here. Alright. Do what we can. We have idle council members. Oh, Lord Rene the Red. I don't know if it's going to do us any good. Now, see, the Dreadfort has got a level of 8. It only has 2,000. We only have 2,000 men up here. Stannis, what are you doing? Our allies here will not do anything, though. 
Shit. Man, this is this is a this is a really tough scenario. It's okay, the fight's still going on. We might lose to Aegon, but that's okay as long as we can take the north. Your ward, Grizzle Redbeard. I don't know who this is. She's grown up to be a woman of honor. Yeah, good for her. Good for her. I don't know who you are. Don't really care. Just everybody get on the boats. Uh-oh. Buddy, you're going to be in trouble. Disband them. Go down here to the Red Watch. All right. Let's just get on the boats. Okay, we got some on the boats. Uh, you stay there. And we'll see how many we can save. Right, maybe move this up a little bit. Oh, shit. It's too many. Okay, we've got some more. So, I mean, I mean, we're saving handfuls of soldiers here, but I think they'll add up in the end. And Stannis gets student of strategy. Quickly, we need every, every, everyone we can get. No, 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 no. If you could just be fucking smart and ch there we go. Who is? Who the hell is that? That's Night Song. We have no allies, unfortunately. Offer non-aggression pact. No, because they don't like us. What about the Veil? Nope, the Veil's not going to help us either. Do they even like us? Nope. I wonder... How many troops do they have? 12,000. I wonder... If we married Robert and Shireen... Hmm... How old is Shireen? She's 11... Robert is eight. If we marry these two, if we marry them right now, any children they have will not be of House Baratheon. They'll be of House Aaron. But they're more likely to accept. And if they accept and we can get Lord Robert to like us enough, we can actually pay the Veil vale to help us. Maybe not in the war for the Iron Throne, but maybe for the war for the North. Kind of like what happened in the show. You had the Veil vale that kind of came in there and uh, bailed out the... Uh, ah. Bailed out uh, the Starks in the end. Let's meet up with this force here. Hopefully the supply limit... No, supply limit is 10. We gotta go somewhere that's got a good supply limit. Winterfell's got a good supply limit. Yes, it does. March down here to Ironrath, and we'll move on Winterfell immediately. Okay. And then we've got, I think, two, three hundred more men that are trying to make their way to the ship still. Great. And then Aegon can have the bloody Stormlands. Apparently we're hostile with Dorne. What the fuck is Dorne doing? Attacking? Oh, this son of a bitch. They're attacking us because they're trying to aid Aegon. Ooh, we have allies here. Tarth, your allies. I wish I could get you guys on the ships. All right. Sail all the boats up to Tarth. And then we'll pick up the rest of these guys. And then we're going north. So, uh, my liege, I write to express consternation at the fact that Sir R Rickard Hope... Um, my lord, you make a good point. He's got a marshal of 21. You have a marshal of 14. Fuck off. Never in our history has House Baratheon ever accepted defeat. Duran, God's grief, raised Storm's End to defy the gods themselves. Oas Baratheon came from nothing to take the Stormlands for his own. The stag will fly over our lands once more. Ours is the Fury. Lordship of Storm's End stands because a strong claim on the Lordship of Storm's End. That's interesting. Okay, whatever. I just got a random claim, and we were able to save 2,000 men. Well, actually, we're probably going to save more than that. Here, you guys muster together. Get down here. So, we didn't save everybody, but we saved most people. And we can send them to the north. And this huge force is actually taking some pretty bad attrition. Once we get to Winterfell, we, we will set up siege lines in the snow. And we will forage for berries in winter. <laughs> All right, we're, we're young Grizzle. I don't care. Leave me alone. Stupid wildling children. My able smuggler Davos Seaworth was long thought to have been executed by the Manderleys. 
In fact, he has delivered me their allegiance as tasked by finding Rick as tasked by finding Rickard Stark. He was supposedly murdered by Theon Greyjoy, but not so. The Northmen will surely rally to him. The Lords of the North shall be rallied to Rickon's claim on the North. How does that help us? Does that does it help us? Does it does it not? Let's see, they've got the phrase and they've got the car starks. But we have Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, the north, the, wait a minute. So if we take the north, do we have to give that shit to, to, to Rickon? Because if we do, we're not going to have territory. Maybe that'll be a cool little event we'll have to deal with in the future. But right now, we have more allies. The north is splintering under the uh, rulership of the Boltons. Let's see, how are our forces doing? We're mustering what's left of our reinforcements. I see just, oh, we have the Hornwood. And we have Overton, and we have Widow's Watch, and of Lord Roderick of the Ruined. Ah, oh, okay. Howland Reed is with us. Gee, uh, I, the Karstarks? Stans Baratheon see his, str his struggle, oh, against the Iron Throne. So, were they all helping us? I'm not really sure, but we just got a fuck ton of allies. Oh, yeah. Roos Bolton, it's time to die. It's time to die. I think somebody's leading an assault on Iron Wrath. I want to take Winterfell. Take Winterfell, kill Ramsay, and then we'll deal with the Boltons later. Or maybe we should move to... No, 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 no. That's the plan for right now, until we get reinforcements from down south, and then we can begin focusing on the smaller armies. Victory at the Siege of Iron Wrath. So we have almost 3,000 men. Almost 3,000. Uh oh, I don't like that. Is it a war score? No, okay. That is fine. That is fine. Um, I'm not sure if we can beat Aegon, but I'm pretty sure we can beat Roos Bolton. So let's get these soldiers. Uh, so they've got 2,000. Maybe to White Bay? Maybe to White Bay. How, how will they be able to take the Dread Fort? <gasps> they might be able to take the Dread Fort. If you get these men off the, the Sea of Sorrow. Roland, Godry, who else? P Patrick. And then down here is going to be Stannis and Richard. Move on to Winterfell. Take it. All right. And we got the song going, too. We got the music. We're playing with Stannis. Another ally. They don't really like Stan depose Lord Paramount Stannis. Led by Lord Rene the, the Red. Lordship of Griffin's Roost. Hmm. Not a whole lot I can do about that, in all honesty. Uh, how about you? No. We'll have to we'll have to keep that in mind that we've got dangerous factions, but uh Yeah, so Stannis might be having his own civil wars here in a second. We must win the north. Quickly. Okay, we've got eight thousand, no ten thousand. It says we have ten thousand, but it says we have eight thousand down here. If we can march on them here. We will destroy an enormous section of the Bolton army. Army of Bayamund, and they have the advantage of a river crossing. We can't do that. Shit. We can barely take Winterfell. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile trying. Let's see, what kind of minus 4.6? Winterfell is is too too powerful. Um, but what we can do is, we, as long as our allies are with us, we can hunt down the Bolton armies. And that would work out really well for us. What kind of garrison do they have here? 10,000. Yeah, they haven't raised their levies yet. Dreadfort here is empty, though, which we could very well take. Where is Roos reigning in the Dreadfort? If we capture Roos Bolton, that'll be a master stroke of genius for Stannis. Much, much smarter than he was in the show. If we attack here, we're still crossing a goddamn river. Um, Castle Kerwin, Dawn Forest, and White Knife. But if we attack from Torren Square... See, that's why he just he's just marching straight through it, because he knows he's protected by rivers, so we have to go around. Siege of Grandview. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, oh, see, now he only gets a hill bonus. Ah, oh, see, he ain't gonna fuck around with that now. Oh, shit. 
We have had reports that a great misfortune has befallen to your bannerman, Lord Manfred Dondarian. He had been sailing the seas near Torture's Deep when they were attacked by a flotilla of pirates. Lord Manfred and the crew are now reportedly in the captivity of Pirate King Arrain. The High Valyrian Menace must be stopped. Oh, okay. Shit, he still gets... We, we have to force him. Okay, this is better. This is much, much better. Where are our ships? All right, the, the Karstarks are there. We need to get in position to siege, but if we attack... Wait a minute. They should all be going to King's Course, right? Who's attacking them here? Ah, the Glovers are. Excellent. We must pursue. Destroy the Boltons. Excellent. Or maybe not so excellent. They've got three, 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 three uh, sections of their armies, but we have one massive center led by, well, Stannis himself. Their center doesn't seem to be doing too well, and we vastly outnumber them. Or, well, we did. There's an army here that's not doing anything. What the fuck? Whose army is that? Elwood Meadows. House Meadows is having a picnic in the middle of this battle. I can't believe it. That they would dare. My lord, news from the, the from the Battle of the Dreadfort. The Battle of the Dreadfort. We have reports that your courtier, Sir Richard Horp, has been killed whilst leaving troops in battle. That's the guy holding our flank. That's not good. That's really, really bad, actually. That is terrible. Uh, they can't drop the men there, so we'll drop the men here in Overton, and we'll walk. We'll walk to fucking the Dreadfort. That could be disastrous for us. That could be disastrous. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. The men held... The men held the line even though their commander was killed. And all of the Bolton forces are in complete retreat. Ride them down! Awesome. Look at that war score. Not so good. This is not so good. Um, let's see. The Battle of Lornus. Yeah. If we lose this war, I think we lose-lose. Yes, we become imprisoned by King Tommen. Not good. Um, how do we stop that? We gotta get down there and we need to wreck their armies is what we need to do. How many troops do we have all together? Only 8,000. I mean, maybe we could go down there and, and beat Aegon in a battle, but I'm not sure if we will be able to. Whoo! Whoo, this is tense. This is tense, but you know what? First things first, we don't have to worry about any kind of arbitrary war score over time. We just need to win every battle we can. Sweet. Ah, uh, Lord Paramount Stan says he just cause. Overton is with us. Excellent. March on the Dreadfort. Take Roos Bolton. Torrin Square is fighting against us. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. What happened to that army that was here? They're still going to Castle Kerwin, and we are pursuing. Give them no quarter. No reprieve. And they're marching back to... Where are they going? Back to King's Course. We're just going to harry and harass them. Excellent. Jon Snow, you could have been Warlord of Winterfell. But the man is a fool. The man is a fool. Go back to our titles. Oh, I didn't pick any of my titles. Shit. Um, let's see. Is my wife anywhere here? Selyse? Yes. And we need bodyguards. This whole time, I was fighting without any of these guys. That's crazy. Um, there we go. Court Jester can be Lord Lester. No, we'll pick Gira. Actually, you know what? We need to pick uh, Rene, because he's trying to overthrow us. Let's give titles to the lords that deserve it. High Almoner, go to you. Cupbearer will not be, will be the most loyal person. Court Tutor to be Melisandra. And we need more commanders. Here we here we go. But you know what? As I always do, we must find the best commanders. Uh, there's really not many. We'll invite them anyways. Uh, come on now. There we go. My prisoner Val is complaining about the, uh, the dark cells. Nope, you can stay where you are at. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, is joined King Tommen. Oh, that's not good. Godry and Stannis, Lord Paramount Stannis. All right, we have the Dreadfort surrounded. The most excellent Stannis I, I fight alongside you. Weren't we gonna marry, uh, 
Weren't we going to marry Shireen to somebody? Let's see. Bravos has 12,000, 13,000 men. Pentos has 17,000 men. They're doing a lot better than my other games. 18,000. How many does Mir have? 14. Volantis. My old friends, Volantis. Let's see. Could I betroth Shireen to you? Of house what? Magir? Shireen and... Ooh, Vekar. Sosi Valyrian. No. How about you? No. Skills of Lady Shireen, political concerns. Does he have intentions? Who is this guy a house of? He's not of, he's not of House Magir. Well, Volantis. I see how it is. I keep doing this. Or, or Molin. Or Molin. Uh, arrange a betrothal. Uh, let's see. Ooh. And he'll do it. And he will do it. So Lise, with 20,000 men, and for sure they've got lots of boats, is more than willing to accept a marriage offer from Shireen, the daughter of Stannis, and could, you know, could be one day queen of the Iron Throne. If we arrange this betrothal, then Lise will potentially join us with 20,000 men. I mean, we're already doing really, really well. We're kicking the butt of Roose Bolton, which, to be fair, it's not that hard to kick the butts of the Boltons because they're really not that good at rulership. They're really, really good at betrayal, but they're not very good at rulership themselves. It's the other wars I'm kind of concerned about. Uh, for example, Aegon here. He's got almost 10,000 men. Kind of a concern. And the Iron Throne. I mean, if we lose the war with Aegon, it's whatever. We lose the Stormland, so you can always fight for it back. If we lose to King Tommen, we, we lose the game. We lose our territory. We probably lose our heads. We end up in prison. We can't allow that to happen. And we won't allow that to happen because the Lord of Light will show us the way. But that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the, the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2. Lord Paramount Stannis' claim on the Iron Throne. I have been the Golden Joblivian, and until next time, I will see you all later.